Hey YouTube, precursor to the video coming up. Uh, I think I say atenolol when I mean I'm going to talk about albuterol and ventolin here in Canada. Not atenolol. Hey YouTube. Today you and I are going to talk about a little drug called atenolol. Clambuterol's baby brother. Or if you're from Canada, it's called ventolin. We call it ventolin because apparently atenolol was too difficult to stay with. So what is atenolol? Well, most people in the fitness community are aware of what clenbuterol is and what it's used for. Mainly, you know, it's a cutting device, raises your body temperature, etc., etc. Now, if you've never wondered or found out why clenbuterol is not on the market anymore, it's because the stuff lasts too damn long. Its half-life is friggin' huge. It's between 24 and 48 hours, depending on your body. Which means, in the, in the medical world, you'll notice I'm in my scrubs today, because, I don't know, I just felt like because I'm talking about a med. Um, in the medical world, if we give somebody a tab of clenbuterol, and it lasts in their system for 48 hours, and they have an adverse reaction, that is a long goddamn time for that person to have an adverse reaction on that drug. Now keep in mind that with medications, it takes five half-lifes for a medication to get down to 5% of its effective dose right so there's only five percent of it left in your system so if you give somebody a tab of clan it's gonna take them like what is that like a week for it to all be gone not happening so what the geniuses in the pharmacy world did is they came up with a faster acting drug called albuterol I think I said a tenol at the start of my video albuterol now what albu albuterol is is um, it's basically clenbuterol, but with a shorter acting dose. So instead of being a 48 hour half-life, it's a three to six hour half-life, right? So now if we give somebody a, a tenol, oh, fuck, tenolol. I was giving a tenolol earlier today. Albuterol, what's gonna happen is the person is then going to uh, get the benefits of it, but if they have an adverse reaction or we need it to stop working, we don't have to wait as long, all right? So that's the reasoning between, uh, behind why they came out with albuterol. Now, why is albuterol not available on the market anymore? Well, the same reason that clenbuterol is not available on the market anymore. What ended up happening is um, it's not as effective because when you take an oral tab, it goes into your stomach and then it goes through the liver and that's when the systemic effects happen where you see like tachycardia, um, you know, your, your, your febrile, your heart rate goes up, and that's why clenbuterol was used, is because it helps you burn calories passively. Same reason people used to take, or people would take a tenolol for fitness purposes, because it's the same thing as clenbuterol, but with a shorter acting half-life, which means you have to take it more frequently, but you don't get as many of the sides. So like people would, uh, people would say they can't sleep on clenbuterol, so they would take a tenolol, and it would help them sleep, because the side effects were, even though they were there, they'd be gone faster, so you could sleep at night, right? But we don't do the tablets anymore because uh, it's just, it's not effective. Like, first of all, it's got to be absorbed and it takes like 30 minutes to kick in. Then you've got all those bloody systemic effects that we don't want in the medical world. But in the fitness world, you do. So what we did was we came out with inhalers and nebulizers. Uh, an inhaler is one of those like puffers. And a nebulizer is a thing that we put over your face that runs air through it and it creates like a steam that you breathe in. Way more effective at getting the dose to your lungs, which is what the point of albuterol, clenbuterol, and vent or ventolin in Canada was used for. It's a bronchodilator. That's what it's, it's bloody designed for. So we stopped using the pills because they're not as fast acting, they have to go through your system, and they're not as direct acting. Whereas the nebulizers and the inhalers are direct acting on your lungs. So basically albuterol was, is used in the fitness world for the exact same reason clenbuterol is, but the reason albuterol is possibly more popular, or sorry, not more popular, but a, a, a safer way of doing it is because of the short half-life, right? But that also means you're dosing like three times a day. If you've ever gone on an online fitness forum and looked the drug up, you're taking it every, every six to eight hours, and that's because of the half-life, right? Um, the extended release, I think, is like 12 hours, but whatever, blah, blah, blah. So you may be asking yourself then, well, can I just take the, you know, if, if it's legal to get the inhalers, but you can't get the pills anymore, can I just take the inhaler for fitness purposes? And I decided I wanted to look into this because I, I didn't know, you know, I know that, um, you know, the pills are, cent are, are centrally and peripherally acting and I'm like, well, maybe the inhaler's the same. Talked to a couple RTs, had a good long discussion about it, even talked to a do an ER doctor about it and no, it's not the same. So you may see people going online and saying like, oh, you know, I, uh, I used the inhaler and it, and it helped me lose weight and et cetera, et cetera. Well, 
what they probably had happen was, yes, it helped them lose weight, but that's because when you take a bronchodilator like a nebulizer, your bronchioles will open up, and now air passage is a lot easier. So when you ever feel tired and you, you feel like your chest is constricted and your airways are constricted, that can't happen because you've taken uh, the albuterol or the Ventolin, right? But the systemic effects don't occur. I asked, like, I, I trust me, I didn't just ask one person and walk away. Um, so when you take an inhaler or a nebulizer of albuterol or Ventolin, not the same. You don't get the, 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 the same effects. Yes, your heart will race and you might think it's the same, but it's not. You would have to like take an entire inhaler in one go in order to get even close to the effects of what taking the tab was like. And it was specifically designed that way. All right, so that, you know, and also you'd way overdose, you'd cause like reverse uh, bronchoconstriction and you'd probably die. So don't do that, that's a terrible idea. So no, the, the, the inhaler is not as effective as uh, the pill form because it's designed to not be, right? It's designed to not have systemic effects. If you use it for fitness purposes, all it's gonna do is make it easier to breathe. There's a reason all the guys on Tour de France have asthma. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right? Because it's gonna open your bronchioles, make it easy to breathe, so that's not the restricting factor in your fitness. It's your muscles, right? It's not your air delivery. So yeah, pill form albu albuterol is the uh, baby brother of clambuterol, and um, this is really all there is to uh, to say on it. Uh, it's uh, shorter acting, uses different dosages, but it's the same purpose. All right, but they're not available anymore on the market because uh, essentially the systemic effects weren't worthwhile. It's the cost risk benefit, so they just came out with inhalers. Uh, I hope this video explains to you the, what albuterol is compared to clenbuterol or Ventolin is compared to clenbuterol, why people use it in the fitness community, and why it's not available anymore. Uh, questions or comments, post them down below. Uh, I hope this all made sense. I just finished a 12-hour shift, so there's a chance I'm just rambling at this point. Um, yeah, that's about it, boys and girls. And as always, eat like a bodybuilder, train like a powerlifter.